Hi guys, it's Pure Gamer, and today we're going to be uh, going through the drip thread content that's coming through for the next weeks and months. So we have, first of all, on the Legendary Motorsport, we have the Pegasus Texaka track. Now, obviously, bear with me because that's wrong, but oh well. Then we had the Vapid Flash GT. Then we have the Overflood Triant. And then we have the Dinka Jester Classic. Then we'll go to the Southern San Andreas. El El trying to get me words out then. The Southern San Andreas. And basically, we first have the Vapid Elite. Then we have the Weenie I I I S I I Classic. That is basically the mini. Then you have the Vapid Dominate Dominate Trixo GTX. Then we have the Rooney Schreberka X. Again, some of these words I can't even say. And then we have the Lapidanti Michelle I GT. And then we'll go to Warstock and you get the basically it's the Vapid Caraca Crisi. But again, that's wrong. That's said wrong. But basically that's the 4x4 that looks awesome. And then for the helicopter we get, we get a sea sparrow. That's really cool and we'll see some more of that later. I'm assuming. But basically the top left is the one that I said then, the SUV with the minigun on the back. But it can come in, and I'll show you in later uh, clips of it. It will come in as a, just a four-wheeler instead of a six-wheeler. Don't worry. And it won't have a minigun if you don't want it. Then across from that, you get some other vehicles. And you'll see that there is a lot of vehicles to come. And we're going to have little screenshots of it. And I'll go through what I think of the car and which one I'm looking forward to the most and that. But right now, there's some details and information. If you want to pause it, zoom in and all that then go for it. I'm not going to go for the whole thing. But this DLC, I wasn't expecting much. But I'm actually kind of happy with the DLC. Because, yeah, it was a surprise DLC. And you never expect anything when a surprise DLC. But what we got is we got some good cars today. And I've done a video on it and you'll have seen. This is, by the way, being recorded on Tuesday. And then we're getting some really cool drip-fed cars. Now, it's, it's a shame because I've just looked for the cars. You don't see the Shelby GT500 the old one but you know you can bear with it now as you see these are fewer screenshots of the cars now i don't know whether we're getting what you see there that shelby i don't know whether we're getting that exact i can't remember now because i don't know whether it's the more modern version of that shelby because from the photos that i'm seeing on the that foxy snap has uploaded you know the the sort of older version mixed with the new version so it's a bit weird now this is the suv i was talking about now it does have a minigun on the back and six wheels or you can downgrade it to that that's as far as i'm being told again everything i'm telling you is what i've been told from foxy snaps and people like that when i say being told i've looked at the social medias and they've told us information now to me that car looks like a beast now we've basically got a car like that it's like the toyota type thing but it is a boss now this i don't really know what's going on with that car because that looks like it's a bit rubbish now this this is ken's blocks ford focus rs this thing is a drift beast the speed the handling is going to be amazing i cannot wait to get behind the wheel of this car it will be a beast now again that it just looks like it's got cardboard on it but uh you just have to bear with me on some of the names because i'm not used to it now this is the hell i was going to say plane then it's the helicopter the one that goes on the water the sea sparrow and it the Sea Sparrow, it's basically going to be pretty cool. It was in San Andreas many, many years ago. Now, this is the new super supercar. It is the Offload Triant. Now, I'm assuming this is going to have a really top speed. So, that'll be good. But, this is the Shelby. Now, again, when I look on the website that uh, someone's put up, it looks really cool. But, it doesn't look like the exact one I've just shown you. Now, Toyota Supra, as you would have literally just seen, we are moving quickly through, like as I like to do that. But the Toyota Supra just looks brilliant, and I cannot wait to get behind the wheel of it, because that is a car that I've wanted for a while. And all these cars you're seeing are amazing and brilliant, and I want. But this is where I'm going to end the video, guys. Here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Press the notification button down below for instant notifications. And I'll see you guys in the next video.